Hello and welcome to Kate's Paper Creations. I am Kate Creasy. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Washington State and I welcome you to my weekly Blast from the Past video where you can um, see new life brought to discontinued stamp sets and other products from Stampin' Up! It's a great way to refresh the products that you have on your shelf or in your drawers and utilize some of the new items with them. So let's get started. Today I am using the discontinued stamp set called Thoughtful Blooms. And this is the stamp set. And it's a it was a very popular stamp set when I went online and just did an internet search for images. There were a lot of um, examples out there so if you have this on your shelf there's lots of ideas out there that you could um, draw upon I wanted to most of them used spring colors because it came out in the spring and most people were using spring colors but we're going into August and into the fall and I've been in a fall mood so I'm going to use fall colors as you can see here. I have two different cards. Now this one I'm not going to do a tutorial on. I'll just tell you about it. In the It's on Whisper White Thick card base, just a standard A2 card base. This layer here is using the brick and mortar embossing folder and it's cut four by five and a quarter so that it has that lip around there. This orangey paper here that you see, the designer series paper, that's from Artistry Blooms. Um, designer series paper. This label is from Stitched So Sweetly Dies and the colors on these little flowers I used was um, pumpkin pie and I did light and dark you know just stamped it off once for the centers. So that's what I did. The sentiment is from that set and it is stamped with early espresso. So that's just a bonus card I guess you'd call it. This is the one we're actually going to make today. So I began with um, a piece of very vanilla thick. It is cut five and a half by eight and a half. If it were scored it'd be scored at four and a quarter but I didn't score it but that's okay because we're just gonna fold it and then use the bone folder and it's going to create a top fold A2 greeting card base. Then I used the new cinnamon cider. I just love this brown. It's just a rich fun brown. And I cut it to four by five and a quarter. So it leaves that eighth inch border all the way around. And I'm just going to attach it flat with, I'm using um, Tombow because that's what I have in my drawer right now. And when I lay these down, I match these three sides and then the rest just falls into place. Doesn't that look good? Okay. Then I cut this very vanilla piece and it is, let me double check my measurements, three and three quarters by four and a half. So three and three quarters by four and a half. And I am going to stamp this design on here and I started with this leaf cluster is what I call it. And I'm using mint macaron. And I am, there's not really a wrong way to do this. I just trying to get it so that I got a fair amount all over because as you can see we're going to cut that when I get done so and I want to have something in each section so I think we'll go do some there and I think I'll do another one over here like this and it's truly just a matter of taste what you want to do there, that's plenty of those. Okay, then I took the Cajun Craze and the little tiny flower that's in there. And on the ends of these, you can see where there's a blank spot. And it's the perfect place to put one of those little 
flowers. So then I went through and did that. Hopefully I'm keeping that where you can see it. It's okay if you stamp off a little bit once in a while. I'm going to turn this so I can see better. I get ink on my on my block and then it's hard to see through the block. Get that on there. And I'm almost done. One more looks like right there. Okay, so there's all of those. That was that. And then I used crumb cake and the little dots. And I just added some of those around. Again, totally random. There's not a right or wrong way to do these just want to get some on there. Need some over here. That looks good. So that's the background. And then what I did is I took this and I cut it into three one and a half inch pieces. One and a half. One and a half and one and a half. Now you want to keep these in order because the design is all connected. So you want to keep them in order like that and we're going to attach those to the front of the card and we're just going to use flat adhesive here again not raising those up at all and I start with the end ones and I'm leaving approximately a quarter of an inch on each end so I'm doing those first that and then we'll put this one in the middle and just set it so that it's evenly spaced between the other two and there's that part there that looks really good okay then I took another piece of very vanilla and this is the smallest of the celebration dies right here it's the smallest one of those and I stamped the sentiment in the center of that with Cajun craze I like that saying I'm always amazed but never surprised at your thoughtfulness. And then I decided it needed something to make it stand out a little bit more against the background. So I inked the edges. This is how I keep my sponge daubers. I bought these for like $4 at Walmart and they have little holders that hold all of the different daubers and I have them for every color and so I can just pull out one and use it and I don't have to wash them or keep track of them or anything and I want to use crushed curry and I'm just doing just the edge all the way around here just like that and then that's all done and that can go back in the drawer and I put this on with dimensionals this 
this. And I just put four of them on there. Doesn't need more than that. And we will put that in just like that. That's going to work perfect because we're going to now stamp three of those small flowers. And I'm going to use crushed curry for the flowers. And for the detail, I'm using full strength crushed curry. And I'll be using the punch to punch these out. And the way the punch is, you want to have one of those petals sticking straight up so that you can work your punch in there to get those. Then I'm going to do a filler stamp with crushed curry, and I'm going to stamp off once first. Just like that. like that. And then we're going to punch them out. And if you haven't used our punches before, if you turn them over, then you can see where you're punching. And you just line it up and punch it out. Like that. It's quiet when I'm thinking, doesn't it? <laughs> and this last one. Like that. And then I attached the three of these with mini dimensionals in the center, and it just takes one in the center of each of them so that they are raised up just a little bit. Now the Small Blooms Punch is the punch we used. That punch was sold as a bundle with this set when it came out, but they discontinued the stamp set but kept the Small Blooms Punch. So that's still available in the current catalog, as is all of the Very Vanilla, of course, and all the colors. And you can tell in these leaf clusters there's a place to put a flower in the center of them. And that's where I'm putting these flowers, just like that. And then these Artistry Blooms sequins, and they have a lovely orange one, orangey colored one. And that's what I'm going to use. And for these, I used the bigger ones in here just to add a little bit of sparkle and color, which is kind of fun. You could probably add a couple more, but that's where I ended up. So there's that part of the card. Then I wanted to show you, I also did the inside of the card. Isn't that lovely? And so let's do that. I stamped this leaf cluster again with mint macaron just right down here in the corner and I stamped those little flowers with the Cajun craze. Make sure I'm getting this up where you can see it. I forget sometimes to do that. And one right there, like that. And then for the flower, I didn't want to cut, a, put a punched flower in here. I decided to do it with just the regular stamp. And if you place it just right, get it just so, it fits perfect. And then my filler one, and stamp it off. And line that one up. And there's the inside of the card. Lovely. And then not to be, I'm not sure what I did with it, but I also did the envelope. <laughs> and I don't know what I did with my envelope. It got away from me. But I did the same thing on the envelope. I took this design and I just put it right on the flap of the envelope. And you can see that picture of that when you look on my blog.